Here's a problem on a TV. Well, the kind of TV that your parents grew up with. The old-fashioned kind, not the new flat screens. There's a lot of good physics in this TV. What's going on here is you've got two plates, one negatively charged, one positively charged, and electrons that flow from one side to the other and hit the phosphorus screen, making an image. Let's answer some questions on this problem. First of all, we want to find the force on an electron located at a point midway between the plates. Well, we know that the force is equal to the charge times the electric field. The charge of an electron is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th coulombs. The electric field is stated in the problem. It's uh, 400 newton coulombs. The coulombs cancel, and we're left with units of newtons. And the answer is 6.4 times 10 to the minus 17th Newtons. A very small force, but an electron is a very small particle. So trust me, it's enough to get that guy moving. Part B, we want to find the voltage difference between the two plates. Well, the electric field is constant, therefore the voltage is just the electric field times the distance of the two plates. Now, what I mean by constant is the electric field does not change as you go from one side to the other. If it does change, you need to integrate. But in our case, it's a simple positive plate and negative plate, so we can use the simpler version, which is just electric field times distance. Now, what is the electric field? It's 400 Newton Coulombs, and then the distance between the plates, 30 centimeters, which is equal to 0.3 meters. And 400 times 0.3 meters, that's 120 Newton meters over coulombs, which is a volt. 120 volts. Now, in part C, we want to find the potential energy. Well, the potential energy is equal to the charge times voltage. And we know both of these. The charge is the charge of an electron. And the voltage we just found, 120 volts. And so we get a number for the potential energy. If you plug this in your calculator, you should get 1.92 times 10 to the minus 17th joules. And then finally, in part D, we'd like to know the speed of the electron just before it strikes the other side. This is an energy conservation problem, so the initial energy equals the final energy. Well, the initial energy, it's all potential energy. And then in the final state, the electron gets to the other side, and it's all kinetic energy. You can think of this TV for an electron as if it's going down a hill. So the electron goes down the hill, where this would be at zero height, and above is at some, some height. Let's plug in the numbers. Well, we know the potential energy. It's the 1.92 times 10 to the minus 17th joules. And that equals the kinetic energy. Here's the formula, 1 half mv squared. And we do know the mass of the electron. We'll plug that in in a second. First, let's multiply both sides by 2. 2's cancel on this side. And I'll, I'll come over here to finish the problem. 2 times 1.92, well, that's just 3.84. So 3.84 times 10 to the minus 17th joules is equal to the mass of the electron multiplied by the velocity squared. The mass of the electron is 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. And then that's multiplied by v squared. Let's divide both sides by the mass of the electron. Kilograms, 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. These guys cancel. 
And then we just have v squared equal to 4.2 times 10 to the 13th. And the units come out to be meters squared over second squared. Take the square root of both sides. And we get our final answer where v is equal to 6.5 times 10 to the fifth meters per second. Is this reasonable? Well, one way to check is that it is less than the speed of light, as it must be. So I believe it's a reasonable answer. So we know the speed of the electrons when it hits the screen is 6.5 times 10 to the fifth meters per second.